Well, homelessness, an unfortunate reality just about anywhere you go in Wilmington, from downtown to intersections miles away, the issue creating more complaints and concerns. And depending on who you talk to, there are different routes to finding a solution. But all agree something needs to be done. WBCT's Lauren Schuster talked with businesses, officials, and even someone living on the streets about the problem. Homelessness, it's a growing issue nearly every urban area is seen throughout the country. Terry Mangum has lived on the streets for 17 years. And while New Hanover County leaders recently passed an ordinance to keep the unhoused off county property, Mangum believes leaders should instead be focused on finding them a place to stay. The city and the county need to step, step up and do more. They really do. Whether it, it, it's to take over places that are putting yourself up, you know, but something's got to be done. You know, people can't continue to live on the street. Now people who've typically lived in and around downtown Wilmington are spreading out across the area and business owners are taking notice. We're at a point where we're, we're getting emails from customers about them being approached uh, in this area going home. Of course, we have a league that runs from 6 to 11 at night and uh, being approached as they go to their cars. And uh, it's, it's something that, that worries us. They aren't the only ones with safety concerns. Any major intersection, it seems like there are panhandlers. And, you know, there, there's only so much we can do there. We get a lot of pushback from citizens. They feel threatened when they're at stoplights. And we're trying to work within the law to at least get them off the center medians because those center medians were not designed for pedestrians. The city is also increasing police patrols in problem areas. But with an ongoing affordable housing crisis, a full solution isn't so simple. The problem is rent is going up. We are seeing it really difficult to find affordable units. Um, you know, we have money to help house people, but um, if people can't sustain that housing long term, it's really difficult. Even still, some neighbors and businesses say something needs to be done, and Mangum agrees. Right now, the main emphasis should be trying to get these people up off the streets. And there's just not enough people willing to help. And those with the city say they're working to find a long-term solution. And business owners Lauren talked to say they understand it won't happen overnight, but they would like to see some progress.